In this next example, we're going to calculate the position for the centroid for this simple I-beam. First move will be to split it into regular shapes, and we're going to split it into three rectangles by dividing it up with two horizontal lines. I'm going to label the rectangles numbers 1, 2, and 3. For each of the rectangles, we're going to draw in the position for the center for each of the rectangles. The center being half the distance along and half the height up. We have our three centers drawn in. But to work out the position of the centroid, we need to be able to specify the position of these three centers from one common reference point, and that is taken as the lowermost leftmost point on the section, and is taken as this bottom left-hand corner. The reference point is like the origin on the graph with coordinates of 0, 0. And it's from this point that the three centers are measured. For the first rectangle, we're going to write down the coordinates for its center from the reference point. And that would have coordinates of 60 across and a distance of 292 upwards. We'll write that value down to the side 60, 292. For the second rectangle, we'll repeat the same process. Distance across for the second rectangle is a distance of 60. And then the vertical distance up to the center will be half the overall height, will be a distance of 150. We'll write those coordinates down, 60. 150. Then for the last rectangle, again 60 across and distance up would be half of its height and that would be a value of 8. Right, and its coordinates down. 60,8. Underneath each of the three sets of coordinates, I'm going to write down the variables x1, y1, because these are values that pertain to rectangle 1, x2, y2, under the second set, because they relate to the second rectangle, and x3, y3 because they relate to the third rectangle. Now to calculate the position for the center, overall center or the centroid, we need two formula, x bar, which is sigma ax over sigma a, and y bar, which is sigma ay over sigma a. Starting with the first of the two formula, sigma means sum of, so in this section we have three rectangles, so therefore we will have three parts in this section of the formula. So it will be area 1 times distance x1 plus area 2 times distance x2 
plus area 3 times distance x3 all over area 1 plus area 2 plus area 3. Now getting the dimensions for rectangle 1, dimensions were 120 by 16 and the x1 distance is a value of 60. For the second rectangle we have a width of 12 however you need to calculate the height of that second rectangle 300 minus 16 minus another 16 gives you 268 so 12 times 268 the x2 value is a value of 60 for area 3 120 by 16 and the x3 dimension is a value of 60. Divide that by the total cross-sectional area which is 120 by 16 plus 12 by 268 plus 120 by 16 with your calculator you can work that out 423360 divided by 7056 and that gives you a value of 60 millimeters Now repeating the essentially same equation again, but except for y bar. So the equation will be area 1 times the distance y1 plus the area 2 times distance y2 plus an area 3 times the distance y3 divided by the total cross-sectional area, area 1 plus area 2 plus area 3. Filling in the values we have, area 120 by 16 for the first rectangle, and then the y1 dimension that we've previously specified was a value of 292. For the second rectangle, it was 12 by 268. For dimensions, to work out the area, the Y2 value is a value of 150. Area 3, 120 by 16. And the Y3 dimension is a value of 8. Divide that by the total cross-sectional area. 20 by 16 plus a 12 times 268 plus 120 by 16 with your calculator work us out 1058400 divide that by the total area which is 7056 and that gives you a value of 150 millimeters. So our answers were X bar was a value of 60 millimeters, Y bar was a value of 150 millimeters.